Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. Want to take a second to welcome you to Monday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with a few questions. Number one, how well do you know the Lord? And number two, would you like to know him better? Philippians chapter 3 verse 10 in the Amplified Bible says this, the Apostle Paul said, For my determined purpose is that I may know him, that I may progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him, perceiving and recognizing and understanding the wonders of his person more strongly and more clearly. Friend, did you know that God is a knowable being? He has thoughts. He has feelings. Psalms tells us that he laughs. There are things that he likes. There are things that he dislikes. God has a family. And you can get to know God better the way that you would get to know a person on this earth better. Isn't that exciting news? You can know the Lord better than you know him right now. Hebrews chapter 8 in the Message Bible, verse 11 says this, They'll all get to know me firsthand, the little and the big, the small and the great. And then in John 17, verse 3 in the Amplified Bible, it says this, This is eternal life, to know, perceive, recognize, and become acquainted with you and understand you. See, friend, God is a knowable being, and you and I can know him more and know him better than we know him right now. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, to know God more deeply, you have to pursue a relationship with Him more aggressively. I want to say that to you again. To know God more deeply, you have to pursue a relationship with Him more aggressively. The Apostle Paul said in that verse, it's my determined purpose. Friend, that is aggressive. And when it comes to your relationship with the Lord, the intensity of your pursuit is going to determine the level of your experience. I need to say that to you again. The intensity of your pursuit is going to determine the level of your experience with the Lord. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 says this, You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. See, friend, all of your heart is an intense pursuit. You know, when me and Amber met, we both got real serious about developing a relationship with one another. And we pursued a relationship with one another intensely. Shortly after we met, we were seeing each other every day. We were talking to each other on the phone. On the weekends, we were spending a lot of time together. We were seeing each other in the evenings. Why did we do that? Because when you want to get to know somebody better, then you get serious about your relationship with them. And you get serious about spending time with them. And the same thing happened with me in my life with the Lord. Right, right in my college years, I started to get serious about my relationship with the Lord. And I would wake up very early in the morning if I had to go to school that day or work that day so that I could spend time with Him before I went. I would listen to teaching and preaching in the car. I would study my Bible throughout the day when I had breaks. Why am I doing that? Because I'm very serious about my relationship with the Lord and the intensity of my pursuit is going to determine the level of my experience with Him. So friend, if you're wanting to get to know the Lord better, then you better get serious about your relationship with Him, and you better approach and pursue relationship with Him with a certain level of intensity. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you today is, about today is this. Your relationship with the Lord is the foundation for your life. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11 talked about Jesus being the foundation. And there are a lot of Christians that don't even know the Lord. They don't spend time with Him. They don't fellowship with Him. They don't talk with Him. And they really don't have a relationship with Him at all. And with a weak foundation like that, God isn't going to be able to build much in your life. He's not going to be able to do much with your life. And particularly in hard times, in pressured times, in difficult times, Friend, your relationship with the Lord is what's going to get you through. You know, there's going to be times where you don't understand what's going on in your life. There's going to be times where maybe you can't figure things out. 
But if your relationship with the Lord is strong, you can be rooted in this fact that I know him. I know that he's for me. I know that he loves me. I know that he's good. I know if there's something I don't understand, I can go talk with him. I can go fellowship with him. I can get answers. Why? Because my relationship with the Lord is strong. I fellowship with him. I know him. I've talked with him daily for years and years. So in a tough time, that becomes the thing that you cling to. That becomes the thing that you hold to, that I know the Lord. I know the one in whom I have believed. Friend, as we're closing today, I want to remind you of three things. Number one, God is a knowable being. Number two, if you want to know God more deeply, then you have to pursue a relationship with him more aggressively. And number three, your relationship with the Lord is going to be the foundation for your life. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today that we can know you personally for ourselves. And Lord, we desire today to know you better and to know you more. And we make a decision of faith today that we're going to pursue our relationship with you with intensity. We're going to pursue relationship with you aggressively. And Lord, I thank you that as we do, we're going to get to know you more and know you in a greater way. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for joining us for today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.